So, jetzt geht's endlich weiter mit Dream Daddy. Und wir sind ja ähm, ins Bett gegangen. Und das ist der nächste Morgen. Also wir steigen hier einfach direkt mal ein. Gut. We have cereal for breakfast and spend the morning putting together furniture. Amanda's much better at, at interpreti interpreting the tiny manuals. We're able to put together a few shelves and one desk, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a bookcase. Kennt man, ne? <laughs> so, you excited for the cookout today? Excited to beef up my grilling skills. <laughs> If there's food, I'm excited. Äh. <lacht> okay. Excited to beef up my grilling skills. Das finde ich gut. I'll, I'll see this as a learning opportunity. If I can snake some. If I can snake some hot grill tips, I think we can consider it a success. Okay. Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? I'll probably end up standing uncomfortably in the corner with a plate of food and hope that nobody talks to me. <laughs> He's the introvert's dream. <laughs> Dad, your beautiful work in progress. We we will get that butterfly to emerge from the cocoon. <laughs> Sie hat so viel Hoffnung in mich. The social butterfly. Well, we better start getting ready. We definitely don't want to be late. Nee. <laughs> Was passiert mit irgendwelche komischen Dinge? What? No, we we have to be fashionably late. Who shows up to a cookout on time? Um, ich wahrscheinlich. <lacht> you know what? We're going early. Just because you said that. <lacht> Sind wir überpünktlich, so. Der deutsche Traum. I head out the door and the man reluctantly follows. We walk across the street to Joseph's. Joseph's house with a store-bought veggie plate. I'm a terrible cook if, I, if it doesn't involve a grill. Oh man, das kann ja echt, echt heiter werden, ne? Hmm. Mal gespannt, was passiert. Jetzt sind wir wieder bei Joseph. Das war der Church Boy. I guess we're not as early as we thought we were. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people and the smell of hot dogs wafts around the air. Small children run through a sprinkler and adults chat in small clusters. Typische Party. I set our veggie plate down on the table next to two, to two other veggie plates. Huh? Hey, there's Joseph. I wave to get his attention. <laughs> The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. Oh my god, ey, was ist mit dem los? Hmm. Welcome, I'm so glad you two are here. And you brought veggies. Yeah, I guess uh, we are not the only ones. Let me introduce you to my family. Kids, come on over here. This is Chris, my eldest. Yeah. Hi. Oh. <laughs> This is Christian and Christy, the twins. No. <laughs> hey. They stare creepily and say nothing. We are some horror film, ne? so a bit of shining moment gerade. <laughs> ah. Then of course there's our youngest. Chris? <laughs> Wait, where's Chris? Maybe Mary put him in his grip. No way! Is that a woman? Is that so good? Oh no, it's the woman from the body on the night. What is she doing here? Oh, and how could I forget my lovely wife? Mary. Natürlich, Joseph and Mary. Warum heißt eins von den Kindern nicht einfach Jesus, uh, oh my god. Joseph pecks her on the cheek. She smiles. <laughs> ah, Mary, sweetheart. Did you put Chris to bed? Hmm. I'll have to go look for him. Die könnten gegensätzlicher nicht sein. Hmm. What? Uh, you'll have to? <laughs> Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. Ist das eigentlich Joseph oder Joseph? Das habe ich mich schon häufiger gefragt. Aber ich sage einfach Joseph. Ich finde es gut. Hmm. Mary, this is our new neighbor, Lloyd, and his daughter, Amanda. Hmm. I'd shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. <lacht> no, um, ich, ich, ich kann jetzt gerade nicht... Uh, ne, ich <lacht> Okay. I love her. Naja, war ja klar, dass so meiner Amanda das gefällt. 
Nice to uh, meet you, Mary, for the first time. <laughs> Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. Mary leaves. Oh god, this is so awkward. I wonder if Joseph knows. I wonder if Mary knows that Joseph knows. I wonder if Joseph knows that Mary knows that I know. Ooh. <laughs> it takes all of my energy not to run away from the barbecue and start fresh in a new city. <laughs> Erstmal äh, wieder umziehen, nachdem wir so vor kurzem erst hierher gezogen sind. <lacht> My wife has a wonderful sense of humor, but please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Ah, wenn das all the guys sind, die ich schon getroffen habe, dann wird's jetzt lustig. Amanda and I mill around and try some of the food spread out on the table. I pick up some deviled, devil, deviled eggs. <laughs> Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins pi piling it with baked goods. Ugh, I don't want to have to make friends. Uh. Come on, Dad. Who are you gonna party with when I go off to school? But I don't want to have to do pleasantries. <laughs> Pleasantry. <sighs> Dad. Oh, they're gonna talk about weather. <laughs> Go. Do it. Make a friend. But how could I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's... bad parenting? Yeah. This plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye! <laughs> Amanda shoves me into the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around the party and I'm surprised to see some familiar faces. Isn't that the barista from the coffee spoon? Yeah, ich sag doch, die sind auch da. Oh, dang, Robert's here? <laughs> Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? Isn't that the guy who was throwing a fit in dead... Uh, doch, who was throwing a fit in dead guff and beyond? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? <laughs> hey, I know Craig! But wait a second. All of these people live in our... Cool the sack? That can't be right. I better investigate. Talk to Robert and Brian. Talk to Matt, Hugh and Craig. Talk to Joseph and Damien. Burger time! <laughs> das, das sind die richtigen Prioritäten. Erstmal was essen. Um, ja, keine Ahnung, ob man das hier um, sequenziell machen kann. Aber ich, ich nehme einfach mal das erste, weil uh, Robert finde ich eh ganz witzig. I walk over to Robert and Brian, who are chatting over drinks, determined not to be weirded out, but weird out about what happened. Ich fang nochmal an. I walk over to Robert and Brian, who are chatting over drinks, determined not to be weird about what happened that night. I hope Robert feels the same. Hey, guys. Ah. <laughs> Lloyd, how the heck are you? Settling into the neighborhood, all right? Oh, you betcha. Got the living room and all, at least. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> That's great to hear. I've been doing some living room work as well. Finally got the 50 inch in there. The game looks great in high def. The game. <laughs> oh boy. Lloyd, have you met Robert yet? Yes, I believe we met briefly. It's kommt immer drauf an, wie lang die Nacht war, ne? Fake. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Oh. Hey. Robert takes a long sip of whiskey. Oh. Robert robotically extends a hand. I shake it as he stares unblinkingly into my eyes. Oh god, what does it mean? Uh, how is it going? Huh. It's good. Robert focuses, focuses on the whiskey he's holding. He takes a long sip. Great! Look at my friends becoming friends! Us dads gotta stick together, you know? <laughs> Brian is so cool, he's so knuffelig. Us dads? Robert has a kid? Oh, I, I didn't know you had kids. Robert continues to stare at me. Jesus, does this guy ever blink? <laughs> yep. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> Cool, that, that's cool. We stand in incredibly uncomfortable silence for... Oh my god, ich hab's auch nicht gedrückt. I'm sorry. For a while, schätze ich mal. We gotta get off this haunted truck. 
<laughs> oh no, the ghost locked the doors. <laughs> Daisy and the men run up to us. Thank God. Hey. Quick, hit the emergency escape button. But trucks don't have emergency escape buttons. Uh, then hit the brake, I guess, and then we'll get out of the truck. Hmm. The imaginary truck. Yeah. Anyway, we're safe from the ghosts. But how will we ever survive this arctic tundra? Daisy, you might have to eat me. Are you prepared to do that? I'm prepared to do anything to survive. <laughs> That's cold-blooded. I like that. Although I'm not sure if the materials required to probably cook you. Ah. Wait a second. Are you guys playing long haul ice road paranormal ghost truckers? <laughs> Yeah! And then I love that show! It's the best, especially that episode where Callum hides Flint's keys and Flint retaliates by breaking an ancient curse urn and sending the spirit after him. Yeah, it's such a quality reality division! Alright, Daisy, I found us a couple of bucks. They're gonna make a great meal, lots of protein. Gonna keep us from starving out here in this harsh, icy wasteland. But there's a whole table of food right over the... Daisy, it's a game. We're playing pretend. It's what kids do. <laughs> I think Daisy was also younger. I can't remember. Yeah, it's egal. <laughs> we just go on. Live a little. Amanda gives Daisy a handful of gummy worms from the snack table. They eat them with mock disgust. Let's go find kindling for fire. Yes. Okay, Robert's so chips. <laughs> but not an actual fire. <laughs> because we're playing pretend? Hey. Now you're getting it. Daisy and Amanda run off. What a cute couple of kids. I turn my attention back to the conversation, but wait, where did Robert go? Yeah, genau, er ist einfach, einfach abgehauen. Ich frage mich, was passiert wäre, wäre ich nicht mit ihm äh, zu ihm nach Hause gegangen beim ersten Mal. Aber wer kann das schon wissen? Okay. I skim the party and finally find him in the corner talking to Mary. Does does he not want to talk? Man, I've never seen her get along with anyone so quickly. I snap out of my rubber induced haste. Was hat er denn mit ihm? Es ist richtig captivated. Finde ich gut. Vielleicht kann man das hier ein bisschen weiterführen. Mal schauen. I guess a man is just sort of has a way with kids. That's kind of amazing. Daisy doesn't really get along with kids her age. Yeah, ich wusste, dass sie war jünger. Hmm, it's nice that he's not trying to one-up me this time. Maybe we can have a regular friend friendship after all. Really? Whoa. She just kind of keeps herself. Her teachers, her teachers say she spends every recess in the library. I think the other kids are intimidated by her intelligence. There it is. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it too much. Amanda was shy at Daisy's age too. She used to have a habit of crawling under tables and crying every time we took her to a restaurant. She bit people too. Whoa, oh, kids, right? Gotta love him. You're required to by law. <laughs> well, since they're getting along so well, maybe we should try to put together a little play date for them. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Go meet some of the other fellows. Ja, es geht weiter. Schön. Äh, sind hier irgendwie nur, nur, es sind, es sind nur Männer da. Und Mary. Nur Männer, Mary und Kinder. Ich verstehe langsam, äh, warum dieses Spiel Dream Daddy <lacht> Okay, dann gehen wir einfach mal weiter. Talk to Matt, Hugo and Craig. Oh mein Gott, alle gleichzeitig. Matt and Hugo seem to embroil in an intense discussion. Craig looks on, smiling politely. I walk over to say hello. Well, I don't think it's fair to try and compare two art movements like that. Periods in art only exist because they are a unique, they are a unique byproduct of the social and political climate of a time and place. And to try to take something like, say, the Rococo period, period, and compare it to postmodernism in America, you're completely disregarding the context in which a work of art is created. Matt and Hugo seem to be so busy talking that they don't notice me. Craig leans in. Dude, I have no idea what's happening. Ah, uh, okay. Mit ihm sprechen? Ja, komm, ich, ich, tue ihm, ich tue ihm mal den Gefallen und spreche mit ihm. Ich <laughs> meine, der Arme. I turn my attention to Craig, who seems a little more attentive to my existence. 
Hard resistance training go the other day. Oh. Great! Little River here is a great cheerleader, aren't you, tiny bro? Craig get, grabs River's arms and waves them around. <laughs> <laughs> you could do it, Dad. I'm so proud of you. I'm sorry for pooping on you. <laughs> she must be a handful at that age. Hmm. Oh, they always are. Hey. But it's so worth it. Craig grabs River's arms again and waves them around. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Weiß ich. Mit seinem Kind unterwegs. Das ist schon witzig. Also, I'm sorry for throwing up on you, Dad. Hmm. How are you settling in? Almost done. The new place is perfect. I never get too comfortable. Almost done. There's still a few odds and ends to take care of before I can really call myself settled, but I think we can upgrade the situation to livable. Hmm. We did livable throughout the entire uh, entirety of college. <laughs> yeah, my goal was for Amanda to live the sort of life that didn't involve eating spoonfuls of ranch dressing as a palate cleanser between different types of pizza. <laughs> Klingt nach einer sehr, sehr guten Ernährungsweise. She still does, though. <laughs> hey, she takes after her dad. Lloyd, how are you liking the neighborhood? It's pretty nice. Everybody's been super friendly. Yeah, ja, irgendwie schon, ne? Hey. Ist mir auch aufgefallen. Seems like your daughter's fitting in just fine. Matt points across the yard where Amanda, Daisy, and another young girl are playing. They're all sitting cross-legged in the grass, picking weeds and weave, wave, doch weaving them into little flower crowns. It's pretty adorable. The girl then recognized Jock's over to us. Hmm. What is it, sweetheart? Da ist die nächste Tochter. Irgendjemand von denen auch noch einen Sohn außer Joseph? <lacht> It's a flower crown. I thought you'd look cute in it. Hey, yeah. Well, there's only one way to find out. <lacht> Matt takes the flower crown and places it, place it, places it on top of his head. Hey. Ah, cute. Am I cool now? <lacht> the girl stares at him, thinking it over. Mm, nope. But you're slightly less uncool than you were before you put it on. Hey. <laughs> hey Lloyd, this is my daughter. <laughs> Hello. I'm Carmencita. Carmencita. Huh. Amanda comes over with Daisy in tow. Dad, look, I'm making friends. Are you making friends? You better be making friends. Yeah, actually, Amanda, you remember the cool barista from the coffee shop and my old college friend and uh, your... Teacher? <laughs> oh, hi, Mr. Vega. I didn't realize we were neighbors. Oh! Yep. You still gonna get me that overdue term paper? Ugh. <laughs> Great seeing you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> And then the finger guns away out of the conversation like a champ. <laughs> She learned the finger guns move from me. I'm very proud. Oh. She's definitely a charmer. Speaking of which, where did my son go? Oh my god, ein Sohn! Sweet man, Shago! <laughs> Die voice lights zwischen durch sind so witzig. Hugo looks around the party. He must finally spot him because his eyes go wide. Sweet man, Shago! Ernest! Ernest Hemingway Vega! Are you smoking? <laughs> Ernest Hemingway Ah, oh, shit. Hmm. Ernest is holding a lit cigarette. Nope. I see Ernest across the way. He casually takes a long drag of a cigarette and then flicks it into a gutter. Hmm. Unbelievable. Excuse me. Hugo marches over to Ernest and I turn my attention to Matt and Craig. Kids, right? <laughs> Man, I do not envy Hugo. The last barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants, nearly burned down half the yard. Hmm. And the barbecue we had before that, he actually burned down half the yard. <laughs> and then it spread onto my lawn and burned down half of my yard too. Oh man, die haben echt kein gutes Leben. Oh. Hugo walks back over to us, practically dragging Ernest behind him. Oh, der sieht, der sieht echt fertig aus. <laughs> Hmm. Hey everybody, sorry about that Lloyd. This is my son, Ernest. Hello. Ernest looks away, sulking. His hands shove deep in his pockets. <laughs> dot, 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 dot. Hugo nudges him impatiently. <laughs> hey. <laughs> nice to meet you, Ernest. What grade are you in? Does it matter? Oh. Ernest. 
Okay, okay, I'm in 8th grade. God, are you happy now? I'm sure you were just dying to know. <laughs> Teenager. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good for you. Hmm. Can I go now? I'm tired of talking to old dudes who blame my generation for the failing economy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ouch. I don't know. Ernest. Oh yeah, because I am totally embarrassing you. <laughs> Ernest puts earbuds in, storms off to stand in the corner. Well, that was, uh, that was certainly something. He seems nice. Hugo puts his head in his hands and sighs. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry, he's having a really rough time. As much as I want to be the cool dad, I have to be the Orphorian dad and he clearly resents me for it. Hmm. I mean, I think as a dad and a teacher that's about as uh, authoritarian as you can get. Hmm. Honestly, I knew I was cool dad, so I have schon wieder weggeklickt. My god! <laughs> sorry, irgendwie nervöser Finger heute. <laughs> what? I am cool as a cucumber. Finger guns. <laughs> See, that right there. You can't say that. I don't know. My kids think I'm cool. But for how long, Greg? How long do we get to be the cool dads? I don't know. I uh, don't know. I think we just have to accept the fact that as dads, we've become the me mission. We once raged against and accept our fate to unironically wear socks with sandals. Your kids may think you're cool now, but the moment they hit puberty, you're doomed. Amanda's 18 and she still thinks I'm cool. Nice. <laughs> I yell across the yard to my daughter. Amanda, I'm cool, right? <laughs> Amanda just laughs. She keeps laughing. I see your point. Oh. As much as we all want it, I don't think it's a it's as important to be a cool dad as it is to be as a it is to be a good dad. We can't all be best friends with our kids. It just doesn't work. I mean, look at me in earnest. Oh. Our job as parents is to make sure our kids turn out okay. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. But it'd be nice to have it both ways. Hearing these guys talk about this makes me think of my relationship with Amanda. We get along so well, but there might come a time when it won't be like that. Is college when that happens? Ooh. Hey. Don't let us eat up your time, Lloyd. Go meet some of the other people around the neighborhood. Okay. <laughs> talk to Joseph and Damien. I spot Joseph chatting with the guy from Dead Goth and Beyond by the Grill. I wonder what they're talking about. I walk over to them. Uh. So I'm curious. Can you walk me through why you had your house painted black? Bold choice. Bold choice. Yeah. <laughs> Where do I even start? The house stays warmer in the winter. It provides an artistic contrast to the rest of the neighborhood and it complements the crimson interior perfectly. I see his point. Also, ich, ich verstehe das sehr gut. Schwarz und Rot passt super zusammen. Okay. It's definitely an interesting choice. Oh. Thank you. I'm very proud of my abode. Abode? Abode? Yeah. Lloyd, I was just having a conversation with Damien here about his aesthetic design decisions. Damien regard, regards me up and down with a warm but critical eye. <laughs> How do you do? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. I think I saw you in Dead Goth and Beyond the other day. Damien's face turns bright red. Oh nein, das geht. I must apologize for my behavior on the day. You see, I take the goth lifestyle very seriously and to be caught in a ruse by such a corporation as Dead Goth and Beyond was profoundly frustrating indeed. Huh. I hope you know that while my anger may have been justified, it was no such way for a gentleman to act. Yeah. <laughs> it's... okay, man. Hmm. Do tell me about yourself. Are you new to the area? Yes, my daughter and I just moved in the other day. She was the one I took to Dead Goth and Beyond. Huh. Very good taste on her part. Does she partake in the goth lifestyle? I think for a second, I look over to Amanda, who's hanging out with some of the older kids in the neighborhood. Yeah. Ha! Hey, Amanda, would you consider yourself goth? <laughs> Amanda yells back. 
I wouldn't necessarily try to fall under any one specific label, but I guess if I had to choose, I would more describe myself as twee hipster with some normcore leanings. Bats are cool, though. Hmm. <laughs> ah, pity. Hmm. <laughs> okay, muss mal kurz was trinken. Ich schrei zwar nicht wirklich, aber das uh, ist straining. <laughs> Are you enjoying the party so far? Oh, definitely. Thanks so much for putting this on. It's nice to be in a cul-de-sac where everyone is so friendly and welcoming. Okay. Amanda walks up to the conversation. Ah. I also like The Lost Boys a lot. Really good movie. Does that count as goth? Sie ist noch bei anderen Thema. Das ist völlig legitim. That it would, my dear. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Damien Bloodmarch, at your service. Damien Bloodmarch. Er hat sich den Namen ausgedacht. Damien finishes the sentence with a flourish and a bow, producing a single rose and offering it to Amanda. Amanda blushes and returns the gesture with a curtsy. Ah. Like, do you know how to treat a lady? What? Hello, Amanda. Oh, die, 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 die creepy twins sind wieder da. Seemingly out of nowhere, Joseph's twin kids appear. Joseph's, was ist denn los? Joseph's twin kids appear. Uh, are they speaking in unison? <laughs> hey? <laughs> Won't you come play with us? Huh? Uh, come play with us forever. Forever. <laughs> Guys, enough of the creepy twins stick. We've talked about this. Ah. <laughs> so good. Richtig gut trope. Christian and Christy. Christy slowly back away. <laughs> Where do you think they got that from? Oh. Mary pops into the conversation, wine in hand. Oh. I uh, don't know. Mary takes a long sip of the wine. Oh my. I think I might have taped over a VeggieTales VHS with The Shining. Who <laughs> knows? There it is. Ich hab's ja gesagt. She takes another sip of her wine. Where's Chris? Ugh. Wasn't he with you? Yeah. You had him a moment ago. Oh. He's probably stuffing dirt in his mouth. He'll be alright. Toddlers are pretty resilient. Mary tips a glass to me. Hey. Ain't my first time to the rodeo. It's my fourth. <laughs> I have squeezed four little... Sweetheart, would you do me a favor and please find Chris? That would be great. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> That's so good. I am sure he's fine. <sighs> Mary... Mm. Okay, jeez. Mary finishes her wine and wanders off. Dad, can we go now? Oh, nein, das ist sein Sohn. Oh. <laughs> ah, Lucien, have I introduced you to Lloyd yet? Hey, it's a punk from Amanda's school. I remember you. Whatever. Huh. It's no way for a young man to speak to his elders. Be polite. <laughs> Lucien bows. <laughs> Whatever, sir. <laughs> Lucian bows again. Mr. Christensen, may I have a veggie burger, sir? Oh. Coming right up, bud. Are you vegetarian? Yep. <laughs> Make that two veggie burgers. Did you know that some people in the Victorian er era were vegetarians? They described carnivorous type people as blood lappers. Dead. Yeah. That's really interesting, Damien. <laughs> Joseph turns to the grill. Just a hint of a tattoo peeks out from underneath his sleeve. I can't believe I didn't notice it before. It looks like the bottom of an anchor. That tattoo? Hätte ich jetzt nur von Robert erwartet. Vielleicht auch von Damien, ich meine. Aber er ist ja ziemlich Victorian. <laughs> wow, is that a tattoo? <laughs> yeah. Yep. I wasn't always a youth pastor, you know? <laughs> That's so cool, wanna see mine? What? What? <laughs> Lucian pulls back some rubber bracelet, r bracelets, revealing a lops lopsided 666 in black ink. My buddy gave me a stick and poke tattoo last week. I think it's healing up pretty good. Lucian! 
We'll talk about this later. Yeah. That's pretty cool. What's the significant significance of the tattoo? Ooh. <laughs> six six six. Church boy. <laughs> Might be. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it looked sick. Well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. Careful, though. That number carries weight. Man, Joseph is a way cooler youth pastor than I thought. I just figured youth pastors popped out of the womb with a Bible. I wonder what he did before preaching. Oh. And without further ado, let's work some magic. Joseph closes his eyes, takes a deep breath and gets to work. With the greatest of ease, he sets patties on the grill, flourishing as he flips his spatula in the air. It's easily some of the best grill work I've ever seen. Warum haben die alle so gute Traits? <laughs> you guys think this is my first time in front of a grill? He's working faster now, effortlessly tossing cheese onto patties and perfectly grilling onions on the side. One after another, the dads take notice and crowd around Joseph to admire his masterful technique. Oh. You probably didn't notice, Lloyd, but Joseph's known around here for his grill, ma grill man's ship. <laughs> He's unbelievable. Bro. I've tried to get on his level, but I just can't catch up. <laughs> Let us keep studying. He has a rare quality about him. My God, he's all. Oh. Must not we keep talking about this. Can't we just appreciate the artist? Hey. I've never seen him make a mistake. Mm. <laughs> okay, we need to stop. This is getting too cheesy. Please stop! All of the children at the party boo the glorious display of puns and unis unison. <laughs> Alright guys, the food's ready. Please form an orderly barbecue. Oh my god. <laughs> Amanda groans. We all grab our food and hang out, enjoying perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. Oh. Man, it's so wild how all of us dads live in the same cul-de-sac. Hmm. Kind of nice, isn't it? It feels like there's a real community here. It totally helps when you're just single and trying to raise a kid. Oh. We're happy to have you here, man. I think you're gonna like this neighborhood a lot. Hmm? Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with all of the kids. If she decides to get into the babysitting game, she'll really make a killing. <laughs> hey, why don't you add us all on Dead Book? Dead Book! <laughs> Dead Book? Oh. Yeah, it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch with each other. We're all on it, so if you ever need to reach out to anyone, that's the simplest way to do it. Eh? Sorry, I'm just an old-fashioned dad. Social media goes over my head sometimes. <laughs> Don't worry, Pops. I'll help you figure it out. Dies immer zur Stelle, zur richtigen Zeit. So, das wollte ich sagen. The rest of the barbecue goes smoothly. We all trade stories and drink beers our kids play on the lawn. Amanda breaks up a fight between Carmen Sita and those weird twins. You think they wanted her soul. <laughs> oh man. Oh, this was chapter one. We have, we have in chapter one. Geschaut. Amanda and I walk back to our place as the sun sets over the neighborhood. <laughs> Pretty fun party, don't you think? I mean, I got a burger in me. I felt like I was at the networking event and I wish I wish I could have been playing Paranormal Ice Road Truck. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> you and Daisy seemed like you were having a way better time than I was. <laughs> because we were! Mm -hmm. Well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You should hit them up on that book. Maybe I will, if I ever figure out how social media works. It tut so als wäre steinalt, ey. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I have a good feeling about this place. Me too, Dad. Oh, großartig. Okay. Okay, den Abend machen wir noch. Mal gucken, was dann passiert. A man and I arrive home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm. Seems like nobody was really in into the cauliflower. Any big plans for this for this evening? Actually, yeah, I'm going out with some friends. Oh. Hmm. Is that okay? Of course, just keep me posted and be home before midnight. Hmm. You got it. And be careful. I will. Make good choices. Yeah. Of course. And call me if you need anything. <laughs> Jetzt reicht's aber. Yeah. 
that you're not gonna do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? <laughs> what? No, I've never done that and I will never do that. <laughs> okay, do we have plans tonight? I... Um... I have plans for Kanda to eat ice cream and watch TV with an Amanda, but I'll find something to do. I'm gonna work on some stuff, see how long I can sleep for. Throw a party. Throw a party. A real rager. All the other dads in the neighborhood are invited. I'll see if I can get you a spot on the list. But honestly, it's looking tight and you may just have to wait in line. <laughs> I know the guy at the door. I'll get in, no problem. I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? Yeah. Great. See you later. I watch Amanda drive off into the night. I really do hope she has fun. Ach, bestimmt. I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind with a celebrity chef, Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rag of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. I'd love to be able to cook like that. Like that. Although I think uh, if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil, like just making baked Alaskas all day instead of any food or real nu nutritional substance. <laughs> Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional. I lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind and also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. I'm not even sure what that one was about. I was just a, it was just a lot of yelling. <laughs> I glance at my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I sent a text. Hey kiddo, you good? I wander into the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hands. I'm sure she, she'll she respond soon. Unless she's driving home now, in which case I hope she doesn't respond soon, because I definitely taught her better than to text and drive. <laughs> I reach into the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I earned it after a long day of socializing. <laughs> I check my watch again. And then my phone. Nothing yet. Hmm. Okay. See, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, no, it's it's too soon for that. I'll just send her a general reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. Now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meat Hell are not only not a su a suji um, my anxiety, but possibly ex separating it with all the yelling, so I keep pacing around the house waiting for her to come back. Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who was she even with? Why don't I know any of her friends' phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? Who is Emma P? I decide to send her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that could have happened to her. Oh, thank God, it's her. Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Finally, finally she's back home. I'm glad she's okay. What's up? Sweetie, thank god you're safe. Uh, uh yep. But now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. Why didn't you answer my texts? Amanda pulls her phone out of her pocket. Oh, whoops. Guess I didn't see those. She starts to walk to her room. Amanda Ann! <laughs> Whoa, we're pulling out the middle name now. Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after your curfew and you didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Mm. Dad, you're seriously overreacting. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? I don't like your attitude. I have a right to be concerned. I was scared. I was scared. You weren't responding and it was just... I was just like... It was just like when you're dead. I have to stop myself from tearing up. Hey. Oh, dad. I didn't mean to. I sit down on the couch and put my hand head in my hands. I feel very tired all of a sudden. You really scared me. Just please don't do that again. Mm. <sighs> all right. I'm gonna go to bed now. Amanda closes the door to her room and I head to mine. Jeez. As I'm falling asleep, one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? Ooh. <laughs> Der Tag hat echt äh, mit einer Series Note geendet. Aber gut. 
Das äh, hätten wir geschafft. Wir haben die, das Barbecue überlebt. Wir haben socialized. Wir haben mit allen socialized. Ich kannte auch schon alle. Das ist wirklich... <lacht> okay. Ähm, ja, und der, der nächste Tag startet und dann schauen wir mal, wie es da weitergeht. Aber dann in der nächsten Folge. Ich bedanke mich fürs Zusehen und äh, wünsche euch eine schöne Zeit. Bis dahin. Ciao.